example, it says many again. Uh, I just keep on continue. Uh, the curtain wall uh, frame generated by Autodesk Inventor. As my previous uh, YouTube uh, create the custom uh, extrusions uh, of curtain walls. So I at least um, videos I can uh, keep on doing. So how uh, create that uh, um, uh, frames generated by. So first of all, we need to um, we need to have a skeleton which was model uh, that uh, based on you you shop drawings or architect uh, drawing architectural drawings and uh, layout. So we for example this uh, example sees this uh, layout of of this uh, of this uh, curtain wall frames. This set is laid out. So I just use that that one and. Uh, uh, import it into uh, so the inventor and uh, generate the, the out uh, layout of the edges. So, so you can see this uh, one side is this side is uh, lean out, this side is lean out. So, this is straight is straight. This uh, have a little corners joined together. And this uh, seven degrees lean out. So um, then I can use, um, so I can op uh, open a new, brand new um, assemb assembly drawings and just go to, uh, um, and then you create a new and get the new assembly drawings. And uh, then you input a place that uh, the module you just have. Okay, and then put, put it here. So, then you can uh, have the frame insert. You just created like a custom uh, frames. So you just insert, okay, with vertical, this, this bigger uh, vertical curtain was eight and a quarter inches. Let's, I already created extrusions. So I just uh, insert and um, the frames. I just insert, you can see that insert here, you can insert here, here, or verticals, you just insert. So it was all the same. Make sure that direction is right. And this, this, I, this big one, just make sure that's the right one. And uh, Okay, and then you will see that how you create it. And then also I have corner uh, moldings uh, that I can insert, which is um, 90 degrees uh, over the, the corner, no, 165 corners, this uh, 160, uh, 165 corners, so I put it here, you can see this corners here, this one sixty-five and uh, I'll put another ninety degrees corners. Alright, so I can put ninety degrees corners here. Mm. can see this uh, okay insert okay okay you can see that one because this is not 90 degrees so we have the 45 degrees uh, the other way 135 no uh, to 225 no to yeah, like a little one, this is right. So we can apply for that. You will see this 145 and then you input that 145 to 70 degrees so lean out corner to so you will see uh but I have to turn into 
other directions. Okay, yeah, this is the right direction. So we can apply for that. So yeah. So what do you what do you have? And uh, you need to put the all uh, verticals to put a um, certain locations. For example, for example. Okay. Okay, that's not right. So, right direction, 90 degrees. I guess. Okay, that's 90 degrees. Okay, 90 degrees. 90 degrees. Okay, let's. The wrong direction. If it's not a right direction, you just change, change. Uh, do you see that? This is right, but this one is not. See that? And so we have the change to add this frame to 180, which is 270 degrees as direction. So now some this direction you need to add it. So to two seventy. So then you can put the uh, horizontal. Okay. So you just keep doing, and then you're gonna get um, the one as I did. If you see that uh, it's too long, you just trim, use um, this uh, trim and uh, cut all of it. If it's longer, then you just trim it down. So you get this one. So for we un we easily understand that uh, 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 straight rectangular or straight uh, frames. Uh, uh, and so we can cut, we don't need to worry about angles. It's only in this corner is 45 degrees. So we, then we can get 45 degrees straight cut. And it's 165 degrees. So we just cut 165 mitre joints. But it's only in these locations you have, uh, we have a little difficulties because this is 70 degrees lean out. So this corner one will not straight cut. And also this horizontal one, this horizontal is not straight cut too. So we can click this one and uh, open this part, and uh, you will get you are, you are get get joints from that. So you can see one end is is not straight. It's not straight cut. Your C decreases, and also this one is not uh, straight too. So uh, as I mentioned, so we. We we have ninety four point ninety six degrees, and and another side we will have uh, this friend to this face to this face is ninety four point ninety four degrees. So this degrees and the less degrees, the both is compound. Not only you cut this. 94.96 and also how to cut not straight cut is compound cut so it's similar like this one you have to set 94.96 and then this one you lean out as 94 point whatever and that's um, another 94.94 degrees so let's a compound so then you can cut this moldings and the same uh, the same situations are uh, for this end uh, straight one. So you will see this uh, this angle is forty four point ninety seven uh, seven nine, and uh, now soon you're gonna find out that uh, uh, 
so you 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 can measure that this angle and this angle too. So we can measure measuring that. So whatever angles we have. In, you can go measuring this degrees and the least this one which is a 94 point whatever degrees so it's a, it's the same for the horizontal which is this one so you you use one side use this degrees another side use another degrees so we can measure the angles for from this phase to this phase which is 85.06 so you compound the LD y is 4490 uh 44.96 degrees and another is 85 whatever degrees so it's, so you can cut this modulus so this is how we we get the frames uh, compound corn and moulins to be cut uh, to be exactly accurate cut for the compound uh, frames. All right, this is uh, what we're uh, uh, talking about today. So uh, by the end of uh, this tube, we will finish all that um, curtain work generated by Autodesk Inventor Part or one, two, three, four, five uh, sections. Thank you for your watching. So next session we're talking about something else. Thank you.